One of the measures announced by the UK government in the budget 2021 was to freeze the income tax personal allowance and the basic rate limit at their current levels until 2026. This means that the amount of income you can earn before paying any income tax will remain at £12,570, and the amount of income you can earn before paying the higher rate of 40% will remain at £50,270. These thresholds will not change even if your wages rise due to inflation or other factors. Why did the government do this? According to the policy paper, this measure was taken to ensure the sustainability of the public finances and fund vital public services in a fair and sustainable way. The government expects to raise an additional £19 billion in income tax revenue over the next five years by freezing these thresholds. How will this affect you and your wallet? Well, it depends on how much you earn and how much your income grows over the next few years. If your income stays below £12,570, you will not be affected at all. If your income is between £12,570 and £50,270, you may pay more income tax than you would have if the thresholds had increased with inflation. This is because your income may cross into a higher tax band as it grows, while the thresholds remain fixed. For example, if your income is £40,000 in 2022-23 and it grows by 3% in 2023-24, you will pay an extra £37.50 in income tax that year. If your income is above £50,270, you will also pay more income tax than you would have otherwise, as more of your income will be taxed at 40%. For example, if your income is £60,000 in 2022-23 and it grows by 3% in 2023-24, you will pay an extra £225 in income tax that year. However, there are some other changes to income tax that may affect you as well. From April 2023, the additional rate threshold, the income level at which you pay 45% tax, will be lowered from £150,000 to £125,140. This means that if your income is above £125,140, you will pay more income tax than you do now. For example, if your income is £150,000 in 2022-23 and it stays the same in 2023-24, you will pay an extra £5,587.50 in income tax that year. Also, from April 2023, there will be a single higher rate of income tax of 40%, rather than an additional 45% on annual income above £150,000. This means that if your income is above £150,000 but below £250,000, the new corporation tax rate threshold, you will pay less income tax than you do now. For example, if your income is £200,000 in 2022-23 and it stays the same in 2023-24, you will pay £5,000 less in income tax that year. How will this affect the economy? The government hopes that by raising more revenue from income tax, it can reduce its borrowing and debt levels and support public services such as health and education. However, some economists argue that increasing taxes on higher earners may discourage work and investment and reduce economic growth. Others suggest that freezing the thresholds may create a drag on consumer spending and inflation as people have less disposable income. The overall impact of these changes on the economy will depend on many factors such as how people respond to them and how the government spends the extra revenue. In summary, freezing the income tax personal allowance and the basic rate limit until 2026 means that more people will pay higher taxes as their wages rise. This measure is expected to raise more revenue for the government but may also have some negative effects on individuals and the economy. One of the changes that the UK government announced in its growth plan 2022 is the lowering of the additional rate threshold ART, for income tax from £150,000 to £125,140 from April 6, 2023. This means that anyone who earns more than £125,140 a year will pay a higher rate of income tax of 40% on their income above that amount. Currently, 
the higher rate of income tax is 45% for income above £150,000. This change will affect high earners and the government's revenue in different ways. On one hand, it will increase the tax burden on those who earn more than £125,140 a year, and reduce their disposable income and spending power. On the other hand, it will raise more revenue for the government to fund its public services and reduce its budget deficit. According to the government's estimates, this measure will raise around £855 million in 2027 to 2028. However, there are also some potential drawbacks and challenges associated with this change. For example, it could discourage some people from working harder or taking risks to earn more income, as they would face a higher marginal tax rate. It could also encourage some people to avoid or evade paying taxes by shifting their income to other sources or jurisdictions. Moreover, it could create some complexity and confusion for taxpayers and employers, as they would have to adjust to a new tax threshold and rate. Therefore, while the lowering of the art is intended to make the tax system more progressive and fair, and to generate more revenue for the government, it also has some trade-offs and implications that need to be considered carefully. One of the major changes announced by the UK government in its budget is the increase in corporation tax from 19% to 25% starting from April 2023. This is a significant hike that will affect many businesses and the economy as a whole. In this section, we will explore how the corporation tax works, why it is being increased, and what impact it will have on different sectors and groups. Corporation tax is a tax paid by companies on their profits. It is one of the main sources of revenue for the government, raising around £63 billion in 2019 to 20. The current rate of 19% is the lowest in the G7 and the G20, making the UK an attractive destination for businesses. However, the government argues that it needs to raise more money to pay for the unprecedented spending during the COVID-19 pandemic, which has pushed public debt to over 100% of GDP. The government estimates that increasing the corporation tax rate to 25% will raise around £18 billion a year by 2025-26, to 26, which will help to reduce the budget deficit and stabilize the debt level. However, not all businesses will pay the full 25% rate. The government has introduced a small profits rate of 19% for companies with profits up to £50,000, which covers around 70% of actively trading companies. There will also be a tapered rate for profits between £50,000 and £250,000, so that only businesses with profits of £250,000 or more will pay the full 25% rate. The government claims that this progressive system will protect smaller and less profitable businesses, while ensuring that larger and more profitable businesses pay their fair share. The government also argues that even at 25%, the UK's corporation tax rate will remain competitive and supportive of growth, as it will still be lower than the average rate of 27% in the G7 and 24% in the G20. However, not everyone agrees with this view. Some critics say that increasing the corporation tax rate will discourage investment and innovation, especially at a time when the UK is facing economic challenges due to Brexit and COVID-19. They warn that higher taxes could drive away businesses and jobs to other countries with lower rates, such as Ireland Switzerland or Singapore they also point out that corporation tax is ultimately paid by workers, consumers, and shareholders, who will face lower wages, higher prices, and lower returns. The impact of the corporation tax hike will vary depending on the sector and size of the business. Some sectors, such as manufacturing, construction, or retail, tend to have lower profit margins and higher costs, which means they will be more affected by the tax increase than others. Some businesses may be able to pass on some of the tax burden to their customers or suppliers, while others may have to absorb it or cut costs elsewhere. Some businesses may be able to benefit from other tax reliefs or incentives, such as the super deduction for investment in plant and machinery, or the R&D tax credit for research and development. 
The increase in corporation tax will also have implications for the wider economy. On one hand, it could help to boost public finances and reduce borrowing, which could improve market confidence and lower interest rates. On the other hand, it could reduce private sector investment and growth, which could lower productivity and incomes. The net effect will depend on how businesses and consumers react to the tax change, as well as other factors such as inflation, exchange rates, and global demand. In summary, the increase in corporation tax from 19% to 25% from April 2023 is a major policy decision that will have significant consequences for businesses and the economy. It is part of the government's plan to balance the need to raise revenue with the objective of having an internationally competitive tax system. However, it is also a controversial move that has sparked debate among experts and stakeholders about its merits and drawbacks.